hey youtube how's it going uh, so in this video i'll be showing you how you can upload uh, the custom fonts on your shopify website um, and render them in the front end uh, on your online shopify store so uh, here first of all uh, let me tell you one thing that uh, you might be having the font files in the different formats like tdf and um, like odf uh, font formats but uh, usually uh, the uh, shopify accepts uh, the web fonts of the format of woff so first of all we're willing to convert our font uh, format to the woff uh, format so i have uh, a font file uh, with the format of dot tdf so here I'll show you how you can convert your font files to WOFF and upload them on your Shopify website and you can add them to uh, your uh, uh, font pages on your website. So let's move ahead and see how we can upload the fonts. So here first of all I'll go to the Fonts Querel uh, website to uh, like uh, convert my uh, fonts. So here I'll go to font square website and upload my own font here. So here I'll upload my fonts from my computer. So here I do have my fonts. I'll select my font file. Alright. So here I have my fonts in the format of .tdf as you can see. So I'll upload this font. So here as you can see uh, I'm converting from .tdf to woff. So here I'll just accept this and I'll download my font kit. So it will provide you the font files in the form of woff and two woff font files will be given to you. And you have to uh, upload those font files on your Shopify uh, website. So here, as you can see, um, web font kit, uh, we have got it. I'll just download it on my computer. I'll go to my uh, Shopify uh, backend, admin port, admin backend. So I'll go to online store. And then I'll upload my uh, font files. I'll go to actions and then I'll go to edit code. Then I'll upload my uh, fonts. So I'll go to assets. So here I'll search for assets. Here I'll go and add a new asset. So I'll choose my files. First of all, I'll unzip the file that I have downloaded from the font scroll. So here we have got it. We'll open it and we'll see that there are two uh, font files in the form of WOFF and WFF2. So I'll just go and choose those files respectively. I'll go to downloads and I've downloaded this one. Okay. Web font kit, sorry. So I'll see that uh, there are two font files. I'll select this upload the one this is and then i'll upload the asset so as you can see it has been uploaded and then i'll upload the second font file as well all right so i'll again add a new asset so i'll select the second file and upload it so as you can see now both of the files have been uploaded now now you'll need to go to your css variables file available in your theme so i'll type as variables as you can see there is a file with the name of css variables dot liquid so when you open this you'll be seeing this tile data over your file by default so here you only need to render your uh, css uh, font through css on your website so you can render it through at font face uh, uh, syntax and uh, format so uh, i have found a blog wherein we can render it like at font face and we have to dive it like this inside that we have to give our font family name just like we are teaching uh, css i'll write it as 
uh, you can write it as any of your font names so I'll write it as my font and then you have to take your source URL like this and you have to render your source um, what do you say your uh, font file URL over here so I have found um, a best uh, blog wherein we can find this format over here as you can see at font race and font family is my font and source URL in this format we have to take it so I'm copying this thing uh, so I'll just copy this entire thing so there should be no mistake and I'll just go to my theme and I'll replace this one and I'll have to replace my own um, font files with these two so here I'll type for my font files name sorry it is Parisona all right so here I'll just copy this and I'll paste it over here Parisona 1 here there's a space I'll just remove it and I'll copy this one as well and I'll replace this with 2 so all right so we are done with uh, the rendering of the font and uh, we have to save this file and I'll go to my uh, website front end now and I'll uh, show you how we can uh, attach our CSS to our website so as you can see this is coming like this and I want this font to be uh, my font now I'll just inspect and do the CSS from here I'll find out the class associated with this and that is subtitle so what I'll show is I'll just add this one and I'll attach a font like font family will be my font so as you can see it is coming So here it's not getting a dash. All right. So we will have to write important if that is not coming. All right. Here. So all right again. Font family. My font. Okay. So as you can see, all uh, this is getting. This must need to be overwritten. So as you can see the font has changed in the slider like this so this font is been assigned to my um what do you say subtitle over here as you can see the font is getting changed so if i uncheck this the font will not be coming see so this is how you can render uh, the custom fonts on your Shopify website and you have to copy the CSS and you have to paste it in your CSS file if this class is present in your CSS file. So I'll just go to my custom CSS uh, file over here and I'll check for that particular class if that is already there. As you can see all uh, this is already there p dot subtitle and I'll write my font over here as you can see font file one family and I'll save this and I'll just come and reload this one so I have reloaded this and as you can see the font is coming and here also I have attached this so this is how you can uh, load and upload the custom fonts on your Shopify website in any of the themes so I hope the things are clear. If something is not clear, please feel free to write back to me in the comment section. I'll be happy to assist you. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and do like, share and comment and support. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.